Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower. We need to find a valve to shut off the gas and avoid having our giblets removed by Frank or whatever his name is. Shit. Fuck. No. God, I don't know where I'm going. All right. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Where am I going? There's got to be... I've got to be overlooking something. Nope. I don't want to feed you, sorry. Is it this way? I can't go through there. God damn it! I thought I'd lost you. Where do I go? Oh! Is it in here? No, but there's a battery. Is there a vent I can climb into? No. He's gone that way. Go fuck off, will you, man?
Oh, wait. Right, okay, I found it eventually. Right, god damn it. There's the valve I need to turn. Make sure I'm not missing anything in here. Can't go out that way, fair enough. Right, now I need to make, make my way back. Of course he's in there. Fuck! Oh. Fuck you, dude. I'm Audi. And then we can go through this door. Oh, god damn. Oh, okay. Well, that was a bit hair raising. Oh, god, this fog. Not helping the night vision. Oh God, this is annoying. I can't see with or without the night vision. Well, I can see slightly better with it. Any files or batteries out here? Battery, thank you. Right. Whoa! What was that? Stuck, stuck. Oh, God, what did we through the sticks? Batteries or files. Oh, good.
And then... He's playing alone and losing. This is what the game is. There is a mathemat this there is a mathematical proof. If you add one plus two plus three plus four plus plus five and so on up to infinity, you can arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. If you continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at one slash twelve negative. 0 0.083333 repeating. I'm losing my grip on things. I'm thinking about the drive here. 400 miles in a rented truck. The job that shows up just in time to cover our bills, our debts, the insurance. The boys sleeping in the back. Nothing but AM radio, gospel, country, western, late night, panoramic talk radio. We sang Patsy Klein songs and laughed at conspiracies of aliens and ghosts. Mile marker numbers passing the headlights. I don't want to die here. Lovely. You right there, buddy? Anything in here? No. Okay then. Yeah. Right, can't go through here, it seems. Oh, you've, op you've opened this gate for me now. Okay, thank you. This wasn't open before. I would like some batteries if you've got any. I'm not going to go through there just yet. Alright. You dropped anything of interest? No. Oh, hi. Sorry, I missed you. Okay, I wasn't supposed to go along there. Makes sense. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Oh, I must be. Batteries guide the way. Okay. Oh, squeezy hole. That makes sense. Ew. No. Stay out of the water. Who knows what's been there?
All right, we're back here. This is, uh... We're going to have the way to make sure nobody can get in here. Oh, hi! As would I. Oh, it's the, uh, the Twisted Twins. I'm so glad you're back. I've missed you. One big happy reunion going on here. Do you have anything of interest? No. Oh God, right. Oh! Sorry, boys. Okay, that was relatively painless. Whoa. Hi there. No, you're fine. I'm not here to spoil your game. Ah, here's the way out. Thank you. Sure, why not? Whatever. Just pretend I wasn't here and you can go back to your basket head. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Get up there, Mr. Wayland Park. Locked, because of course it is. file. Kurt, we've got another one and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychotic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Vernica's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing of a contracted security guard and seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythology story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case, or the others before him. It's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients, it's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person. Billings. Alright. I'm not doing anything. Whoa! Alright, he was just out for a jog, it's fine. It, batteries, files, no. Lock. You say Fruit Loop. My phone's off the hook, nothing in here. Ah, things are going well here, I see.
Alright, just making sure. Definitely locked. Do you have anything? No. No. Oh yeah, Chris Walker, he's still alive at this point in time. Great. Any batteries or anything? There's the radio. Right, no batteries. Oh, of course, we know it's going to be too easy. Ow! Waylon, you couldn't just couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. No, I'd rather not. Hi, Chris. Sorry. I'm not in the mood to deal with you today, mate. Right, is he not coming? I guess not. Any batteries in here? Doesn't look like it. No batteries, no files, no nothing. Hi there! Oh, I know where we are now. We're in the mail ward. Oh hey, it's Uncle Festa! Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place looks like an asylum and writing instructions on the wall talking about God tells me not to be afraid. Well, I haven't spoken to him yet. How was I ever a part of this inhuman bullshit? Green-driven moral genocide? The monsters Murkoff ripped from tortured minds? The lengths their jack-booted business schoolworms will go to protect it? Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa. But if I, but if some small-minded interventionist God is listening, kill Jeremy Blair before I die. Sanity and avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. There's no ra There is no radio. No hope of reaching the outside, of the outside world. Only escape. Sure. Our technology is ridiculous as magic. And if you show more bad magic, you think it's technology. We have faith in all the wrong things. And it will destroy us. Right. All right, let's go talk to Uncle Festa. Another poor soul. Don't be afraid, you're doing his work. Whether you know it or not. Down the drain, huh? So why don't you think I'm one of your apostles, considering I have I too have a camera? Interesting. Fuck you! Don't you fucking look at me! Come here! No more sickness! No more nightmares! 
All right, calm down. Rick, fun hitting the greens last week. We should make the drive more often. Was reviewing some old test records from the early days of Project War Rider and something sparked my interest. Were you following the project back in 2010? Apparently we had issues with female employees experiencing psychosomatic pregnancies. Something to do with how the morphogenic engine interacts with the immune system? All Greek to me, am I right? It was more often fatal than not. And these, and these were employees and not patients, so a little harder to sweep under the rug. But the morphogenic engine activity in these ladies' marrow was off the charts. And these are women who were never even exposed to the additional hormone therapy. Now, I don't know PPM from a kick in the teeth. But if I can read a spreadsheet, but I can read a spreadsheet. And if the projected profits from Project Rule Rider are half what they say they are, I've just got one question. Why aren't we performing experiments on women? God knows mental illness is an equal opportunity affliction. Seems unethical to pass upon such a potential windfall. Sincerely, Jure. I'm guessing that's Jeremy Blake or Blair, whatever. I'll leave you to your ranting. I'm not even human anymore. That hurt my feelings. Oh, can't go that way. Anything in here? <sighs> Battery. Thank you. Go in here? No. That's not working. Oh god! I don't need to look behind me to know who that is. I'm just... Ah! Out here? Yes! God damn it, Chris Walker. Alright, and with that in mind, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Outlast Whistleblower, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>